The first way that we manage our state is going to be through a technique called peripheral vision. I'm pretty sure most of you can understand what I mean by peripheral vision. Like, an animal uses peripheral vision. A grazing animal has eyes on the side of its head because it needs peripheral vision. Why? Because it needs to have a wide view to see changes in the grass. Because he knows that could be a potential threat. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying in peripheral vision, what you've got to do is when you look out at your audience, You've got to be able to take in the entire audience. Even though I might be looking here right now, I can still pay attention to movement over there. Does that make sense? If I just look at you and exclude everything else completely, and now I'm zoned into your eye, my attention isn't also over there. I'm now in something called foveal vision. Foveal vision is what an attacking animal has. Grazing animal, attacking animal. Does that make sense? That's like, I'm f***ing eating you, right? And you don't want to have foveal vision. What you want to do is have the look to one person of foveal, but actually you're in peripheral. Now, let me explain why. Because foveal vision is linked with stress. If you're in foveal vision, which means you're focusing on one thing and excluding everything else, you're going to engage what's called the sympathetic nervous arousal, which is going to make you feel stressed. Let me give an example to prove the point. When would you use foveal vision? When would it be useful? For example, threading a piece of cotton through a needle. Don't be in peripheral vision for that. It's not very good. You need to focus on this one thing. Yes or no, guys? But how stressed would it be if you tried to do it for 20 minutes? That's what, how most of you live your life. You're so focused and so intently focused on one thing. It becomes like this one problem, for example. It becomes knackering after a while. Make sense? And the problem with foveal vision, it makes you problem focused. Whereas peripheral vision makes you solution focused. So peripheral vision is synonymous with healing. And this puts you into what's called the parasympathetic nervous arousal. Sympathetic nervous arousal, parasympathetic nervous arousal. It's actually impossible to be stressed when you're in peripheral vision. Impossible. You can't do it. So let me give you a test then to see if this is true. So what I want you to do is I want you to all look at me, okay? I'm your spot that you're looking at, but whilst you look at me, in the peripheral of your vision, without looking at it, as in, look at me, but don't look away from me, but whilst you're looking at me now, notice the screens without looking at them. Notice the different things on the stage below me without looking at it. Notice the ceiling above me without looking at it. Notice the colors on the side of the room without looking at them. Look at the different lighting effects. Bring it and wrap your awareness without looking at the person next to you. Become aware of the person next to you. And notice their breathing in and out. Notice how relaxed you feel. Do you feel more relaxed? Yes or no, guys? Okay, now, now you know how to do it. Here's what we need to do. Now I want you to think about a problem you've got to solve. An issue may be with a person that's not quite resolved yet, a problem at work, a problem with money, relationships, time, project, something, not quite solved. A little bit of a problem you're not quite figured out yet. I want you to go and think about that now. Just think about it. Go ahead. Is there anything at all? Just find it. Okay, come back out. Now you've got that. Okay, now what you do is want you to go into peripheral vision again. Look at me. Focus on me. Only keep your eyes on me, but put your attention out towards the periphery. Again, the screens, ceiling, the floor, everything else. 
Push your awareness right around the beginning. Wrap your awareness all the way to the person next to you without looking at them. Peripheral vision. Now, whilst you stay in peripheral vision, try to think about your problem. And notice how it's different. Can you see how your problem keeps disappearing? Almost slipping through your fingers. Who has that experience, please? Raise hands. So if you've got good peripheral vision, you can't hold on to a problem. Because to focus on a problem, you've got to exclude the solution. Because a problem only exists if you focus on the problem and forget everything else. Does that make sense? So what's my point? When you're up here presenting, be in peripheral vision because it switches off your awareness of every single problem you brought on the stage. Because you might one day have some big shit going on outside in your life. Don't bring it on stage. Leave it outside the door. The way you do that is going to provision. I forget that I'm married when I'm presenting. I forget my father when I'm presenting. It doesn't mean I forget like I'm going to do silly things. It just means that I'm so fully present that anything that's going on in my life is not in this room. It's outside this room, makes sense? Because I'm in peripheral vision the entire time I'm here. I'm so focused on what I'm doing. I'm so in peripheral vision. I'm not aware of anything else. I'm just here in that moment, makes sense? Peripheral vision. So here's what it does. When you go and stand up and present each time, you should start by getting yourself into state. So what you do is, I would probably stare out like that, get in the room. I'm now in state, I'm in peripheral vision. Then as I then look down at you, you become my new spot, but my awareness is over here. Then I find another spot to look at, but my awareness is over there. Make sense? But I keep in peripheral vision. If I do this, and I look down. If I do this, and I look up. Okay? I'm no longer in peripheral vision. I'm thinking inside. I am foveal. Does that make sense? I watch you guys present, most of you in this time. Many, many times you guys are looking down. Many, many times you're just staring at people's knees. Many times you're just looking through people, not at people. Does that make sense? You've got to be in peripheral vision. Okay? That's number one. 